be clean, you know. Where well, all the people them need, them a shout out Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, whoa, whoa, whoa. them say Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you can hear it in the morning, Obama. and you can hear it in the evening. Obama. Black man and white woman shouting, Obama. them in the groove and them is moving. Obama. And you can hear them saying, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, boy, boy, them say Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, boy. Okay, we're back. We're here with Coco T at the One Love Tour at the Covey Bell. He just performed, came on with a live, real vibrant uh, selection of songs. He laid it down. Second time on Mystic Vibes. How you feeling today? Well, give thanks to life, you know, feeling airy and, you know, happy to be here to perform for the people, and that's it. Now, uh, Coco T, could you tell me how long you've been doing the whole reggae thing? Uh, like about 30 years. 30 years, started in Jamaica? Yes, yeah, started in Jamaica. And how long you been touring? Um, I'm on tour now for, if, do you mean this tour right here? No, touring all together. Right here. I've been touring like for the past. Mm. 20, and how long is this tour? This tour is for like three and a half weeks. Okay, you just started it? No, we are actually, you know, we're doing 21 shows and this is, this is the, um, like the, the 19, the, um, um, the 16th. Okay, so you got about six more to go. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, the, the mainstream of, of music for you, I know you've seen different crossovers from the 80s, doing it over 30 years, so the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, how were you able to keep up with it? <laughs> I mean, just being in touch with what is happening in the music and, you know, keep on, because, you know, reggae music is like that. A lot of people across the world can relate to what we do, so. We just keep doing it. What our main focus is on roots and uniting the people and bringing people together to the power of this music. Okay, okay. So the, the, the whole music thing comes natural? I mean, with you writing songs, what, what do you feel like is your, your motive, your, your motivation, really, and your muse in this? Well, my motivation is the people. Um, I try to make music from the things that I see happening around me and the things that affects people's, people's lives and, you know, things like that. Last song, Barack Obama. Yeah. All right. How long ago did you make that song? <laughs> I made that song um, just before the beginning of the, um, the primaries. Uh, I made that song because I had the vision that you know, it would be a black man in the White House this time. Because from I was born until now, I, I was hearing that there would never be a black man in the White House. And I said, um, because of the words of prophecy, people like Marcus Garvey and Martin Luther King and those kind of people, it, to me, it was the full time now to see the changes that the people are looking for. Barack Obama was on, the only change in the race because it, he was an African American. and. It was the time, the season, everything was right for a black man to really take over now. So I, I had that vision and that, that, that strong belief that it would be this time, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel like the Jamaicans received once they got the news that Barack Obama was the first black president of the United States? Well, Jamaica, I, I tell you, for Barack Obama, you would never believe it. He was, he was receiving Jamaica like it was, he was running for the presidency in Jamaica. Not only Jamaica alone, all over the Caribbean, the man was received as if he was running on our side, not in America. People was going on like he's running for the president of Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? That's how he was received. And I mean, people received, received him all over the world in the same manner. I, I went to Europe and when I tour Europe and see the reaction whenever a time I sing that song in Europe, 
when I sang that song in Europe, I told you that I knew I knew that the power of the people would really prevail, and prevail, and he would have been the president of the United States of America because of the love that he, this man receives in the world is un, unprecedented. There's nobody in the world, I think, who have captured the imagination of that the world. Might be Usain Bolt. <laughs> yeah, Usain Bolt got all the medals for Jamaica this year. Set world records all around. Right, right. Yeah, I know Jamaica was real receptive to that. And for those who don't know, he contributed money, 50000 here and there for the tsunami and everything else. Yeah. So, I mean, the Jamaicans have their heart. They, they, they have their contributions. Now, with you, do you have any, like, charities or anything, non-profit organizations that well, you... Well, to me... Charity is something we have to do every day in our lives, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out there who need it, so there's a lot of different, different charities that I contribute to, you know what I'm saying? Different, different organizations. I mean, whenever time there's anything and they're called, we're called upon, we, 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 we donate to every single charity around the world. But well, my latest, my latest album is called Yes We Can, and it, it, um, it was released like in February. And it's the standard that the CD you can find a song called Barack Obama. Now I'm in the studio working on the next one to be released next year. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I'm hoping to, to name that one. I saw the thing set up. That, that the, title, the title song is now on the radio in Jamaica and it is getting mad, mad rotation. Good airplay. Yeah. yeah, because I'm addressing the situation that is going on right now. Some of the things that she just asked me about. I'm adjusting all of these things in it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm looking forward to, 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 to finishing up that album like sometime between, between June, July. All right. All right. Well, that's Coco T in Chicago, back on Mystic Vibes for the second time, not the last time either. We <laughs> want to thank you for coming out again. And uh, definitely, when the next time you be on tour? Well, next time, I, Chicago. next time I be on tour right now, I think it will be in Europe. Okay. Um, what's that? Another twenty-two? No, probably another thirty or uh, another thirty-five. Okay. Yeah. Well, Europe. Here he come. Y'all get ready for him. He be back, coming back again. Chicago. I know he's coming back again to the shot. So, till next time, y'all stay up. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Ah, Slasia, Emperor Slasia the first. Bless it and keep it and guide it. Yeah, sweet, sweet cocotier, Mr. Watcher. You're watching. Mystic Vibes, Channel 19, Rock and Come In, Roots and Culture, and we run the scene. Don't forget it, it's Mystic Vibes, Channel 19. You see what I mean? Rastafari I guide and protect every time. Say, Chubuni, Coco de Tea, you never love, love. Chubuni, Mystic Vibes is on. Keep watching. Seen. But I, I'm not afraid, no, no, I, I'm not afraid, no, I, I'm not afraid, no, if they might come, let them come, cause I'm protected by the most I want, they don't mind when you fall behind and can't be your